And uh, when you're ready. Secure? As I know in Heim and Raya, though our work would have gone more quickly with you at the fall. You must think I'm a piece of bread that needs to be buttered so heavily. Well, that was not my intent. For the first time since Bifrost was destroyed, the Nine Realms are at peace. They're well reminded of our strength, and you have earned their respect and my gratitude. Thank you. Nothing out of order except your confused and distracted heart. This isn't about Jane Foster, father. Human lives are fleeting, they're nothing. You'd be better served by what lies in front of you. I'm telling you this not as the old father, but as your father. You're ready. The time has come for you to take the throne. Embrace and celebrate what you've won. Join your warriors. Eat and drink. Revel in their celebration. At least pretend to enjoy yourself. Shalom. First off, I'd like to say Brakfa Yahao Bashimishai, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, blessings and salutations to the elect worldwide, preaching the gospel in spirit and truth, in all sincere and sincere manner and, and consistently. May the Lord have mercy on the one third men, women, and children destined to repent. May the Lord bless them and give them comfort. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and Hispanics and those scattered throughout the whole earth no matter how you look like but according to the Bible Bible prophecy uh, characteristics and the identification of the scriptures and the curses of the book of Deuteronomy 28 such as the transatlantic, transatlantic slave trade you guys are the biblical true Israelites and the children of God and who you should worship is the Heavenly Father called Yahweh and the son, the saviour, saviour, the deliverer, whose name is Yahweh Shai, whom you ought to both worship. And Yahweh Shai, who the world calls um, Jesus Christ, is a so-called black man, according to the Bible, Revelations 1 and 13 and so on. So yeah, I just uploaded a, a video previously, previously to this. Um, same movie, it was uh, on 4, Ragnar Ragnarok. And it was talking about Asgard as a people, not a place. And, you know, I backed up through the scriptures that Israel uh, is a people uh, and not just a place. Talking about Israel was named after our forefather Israel, whose name before that was Jacob, then changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel and received prophetic blessings. So, in, in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the the kingdom that's coming on earth you know Yahweh Shai who the world calls Jesus Christ everybody should be familiar with the Lord's prayer you know as earth as is in heaven thy kingdom come the reason why the Lord said as earth as it is in heaven in earth as it is in heaven it's because um, the kingdom of God and the rulership of Israel starting with Yahweh Shai the Lord and Savior is going to be here on earth yeah, this earth was created to be inhabited by the nation of Israel to to rule, and we're going to have these heathens as our possessions. Read Psalms two and eighty five and Revelations two twenty five, but also just showing you the the beauty of the kingdom and the qualities and pleasures of the kingdom, as you can say. Now this is the book of Revelations twenty one verse twenty one, and we're going to analyze. The, the video you just saw you know step by step revelations 21 and 21 so you can get your scriptures and read it 
and the twelve gates were twelve poles. Twelve twelve gates represents the the twelve tribes, you know, the twelve borders of Israel: Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Manasseh, Ephraim, Naphtali, Gad. You know, all the rest of the tribes: Simeon, Issachar. All the twelve tribes were twelve twelve pure pearls, should I say, slacker. And even if you read in the Old Testament, the Levites, the the, the priests, they had like a like a chain of jewelry of, of 12, 12 precious stones to represent the 12 tribes of Israel, showing you that the Lord, our Heavenly Father, man, he's, when it comes to decorating and looking nice, he knows how to do it, man. And that's Jake, man. Israel, we always know how to look good, man. Even if it's a casual dressing of just wearing a white t-shirt of jeans and, and some Timberlands. You, uh, Jake will still look good. Jake like to wear their rings and, and their gold chains, their, their grills and stuff like that, their earrings. Uh, even our women like to, the big hoop earrings, f uh, feet rings, bracelets. And, you know, our people naturally, we have a an, an, uh, a royal mentality. And we're, even even when Jake, Jake's and Israel are broke, they still want to look good and look nice. We dress better, we have better fashion sense compared to the other nations of the world. Yeah. That's how so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Hispanics are, you know. And we've got that characteristics because we are the children of God. And that itself, the name of Israel, Yasha Allah, means princes, princes he prince of the power or princes of God. Princes are sons of kings. Yeah? We are sons of God basically. So if the Lord's royal, we're gonna be royal. So, you know, Jake in the world, you see it, they like to be decked out and, you know, look good. That's our personality. Yeah, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls and every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city, listen to this, and the street of the city was pure gold and it was, what, and it was, and it were transparent glass. Let's see if we see this. Well, when you're ready. Look at, that. Look at the roads mixed with gold and like glass, like almost transparent. You see, like a long bridge in Asgard in the, the, the four comics. And look at the buildings made out of gold of different materials. This is a, basically a, a depiction of the, the kingdom of heaven on earth. Yeah, the kingdom of heaven is going to be put, put on earth, man. This earth is going to be a, a royal kingdom. When Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so-called, who are really Israelites, the children of God, not them so-called Jews in the land of Israel today, uh, they're false Amalekite um, Edomites, man. That's their real nationality. The so-called white people are Edomites, the wicked that rule this world and cause them... Um, Confusion, chaos, pollution, and wickedness in this earth. Yeah, so the kingdom is going to be on the earth. And you saw it right there. It said, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were, transparent in glass. And you can see the bridge there, like a mixture of, of different elements, gold, glass, diamonds, and all around, man. I don't know what to make of it. But this is biblical, man. The kingdom of heaven is beautiful. And you should desire to, you know, have desire in that. And it says, verse 23, And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. So we're going to be constantly shining. This city, this... Our kingdom, New Jerusalem, is going to be constantly glorified, full of glory and shine. Verse 24, And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it. 
Now, Israel is going to be saved, and we're going to be saved from out of every nation, which is what you call the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. And also, you know, yes, there's going to be the other nations going to be there, but they're not going to be rulers. You know, they're going to be our slaves. Revelations 2 and 25, Revelation, um, Psalms 2 and 8. Yeah, we're going to enslave them, man. Psalms 14, from the top. We're going to possess them as um, hand, bondmen and handmaids. And the city had no need of the, of the sun, neither of the moon to shine it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the lamp is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it. We're going to be royal. We're going to reach God's status. Hey, man, and we're going to... We're going to treat the earth, the kingdom, Yahweh Bashim Yishai, in righteousness, man. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. So this kingdom's going to be popping 24-7, baby. It's going to be beautiful 24-7, shining 24-7. The whole world's going to know about our rulership. The whole world's going to know about New Jerusalem. The whole world's going to know about our kingdom. Every nation is going to bow down and see the beauty and glory of it. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. There you go. And they shall know in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are written in the lamb lamb's book of life and there you go and uh, hebrews 8 and 10 the new covenant which is israel israelites they're going to receive the the law and commandments in their mind in stored and we're going to have new bodies pursuant to i believe first corinthians 15 and 51 of when our bodies change and our bodies put on incorruptible and we receive immortality we're going to change we're going to become perfect we become gods on the earth man and we're going to judge righteously no more defilement no more wickedness no more pollution no more adultery no more greed no more sin so therefore we're going to have a joyous life full of pleasures men are going to have multiple women yes I said it Multiple women, just like in the days of King Solomon and King David, the Lord blessed them multiple women. And it's going to be full of love, love and life. You know, in the world they like to say live, love and life. Or the three L's. Live, laugh, love. Well, you can't do that in this kingdom. This kingdom is full of oppression, wickedness and so much LGBT um, uh, pollution. Earth is polluted, the air, water, the food is polluted, the people are corrupted and, and lost and ignorant and stupid. It's just full of wickedness and chaos. Yeah. Now look at this, you're going to see people in the kingdom, you know, practicing um, arts, man, arts of warfare. And this is what happened in, in, even in King Solomon's rulership. All of this is scriptural, man, relates to the Bible. Let me show you, hold on. Look how King Solomon was living, man. This is Songs of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse... Verse 7, Behold, his bed, which is Solomon's, three score valiant men are about it, of the, of the valiant of Israel. They all hold swords, swords, being expert in war. Every man have his sword upon his thigh because of the fear in the night. Yeah, man.
man. You seeing people, you know, getting into the arts, the martial arts, or whatever. You know, they're armed. Scripture is saying, which is, which is a good thing, you know. But we in the kingdom, we ain't gonna worry about that because we're gonna be the the, the gods of the earth. Everyone's gonna fear us and bow to us. But it just shows you that men were were into arts. And the men knew how to fight. They were supposed to learn how to fight since young. You can read Numbers uh, chapter 1. You see? The valiant men are about it. Of the valiant of Israel, they all hold swords. Being expert in war, experts in war, you can see it right there. Every man have his sword upon his thigh because of the fear in the night. And really and truly, men, men, uh, that shows you that men in the ancient world, they ramped with, you know, they ramped, they walked with weapons, you know, in case of emergency, in case of self defense, in case of any wickedness occurred or any survival instincts. Yeah, but in this society, you got the government. They take away, um, well, they're planning to take away all, like um, self-defense weapons, like guns, away from the people, so that the people can rely on the government. But here in the ancient world, everybody knew about self-defense. They learned and trained, especially the men, young men since boyhood or kidhood trained to defend himself and this wasn't a bad thing god the god the most high didn't say yahweh didn't say it was bad because he you know he teach men to be this way yeah. a man is supposed to protect himself and protect his people and protect his loved ones in righteousness um yeah, verse 8 again. Songs of Solomon 3 and 8. They all hold swords. They all hold swords, being experts in war. Every man have his sword upon his thigh because of fear in the night. King Solomon made himself a chariot of wood of Lebanon. He made the pil pillars thereof of silver, the bottom thereof of gold, the covering of it of purple, the midst thereof being paved with love for the daughters of Jerusalem. So, even King Solomon was blinging it out, man. And you can see in Asgard, it's all blinged out, all decked out. It's all beautiful. So, it's royalty, man. Brilliant man. Brilliant man of Israel. Is that a home secure? As I know, home and Raya. Though our work would have gone more quickly with you at the fort. You must think I'm a piece of bread that needs to be buttered so heavily. Well, that was not my intent. You see how men talked, the father and son. Is Vanaham secure? Is this is this is this location locked down? Is that sorted? Is that job done? Is that is that place that lo that location is is protected? Is is all sorted? It's all good. That's how we're gonna be in the kingdom. Yeah, we're gonna have taskmasters, tributaries, which are these heathens, these Hamites, so-called Africans, you know, Moab and and, and Amut, these Chinese and Japanese. Elam, these East Indians, you know, all, all of these um, heathens, these other tribes of the earth, you know, we're going to make sure they're in subjection. We're going to have um, different Israelites in different orders, starting on top with the, with Yahweh Shai, the, the 12 disciples, you know, the elect, the 144,000, you know, you're going to have Israelites under, we might everyone's every Israelite is going to have their own domain you know we're going to divide inheritance equally and fairly due to rank and stuff like that everyone's going to be everyone in Israel you so called Negroes Latinos in America is going to be happy it's going to be beautiful you're going to have a lot you're going to have abundant you're going to live forever you're going to be happy forever Men are going to have multiple women. You women are going to live like princesses and, and queens. Well, princesses, shall I say, should I say. And you're going to have wonderful 
uh, husbands, great and mighty husbands, beautiful bodies. Basically, you're gonna they're gonna be like angels, yeah, and, and you're gonna be loyal and worship that man, that 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 one and only man, and you're gonna have handmaids. You're gonna you women are gonna have servants too, female servants. They're gonna lift you up, make sure you don't touch the ground when they're taking you to a, a different location. They're gonna be fanning you. You know they're gonna feed you grapes, and you're gonna treat you're gonna feed your husband grapes. With other women too. And you're going to give sex to your husband. And other women are going to give sex to your husband too. Exactly. You're going to be sharing a man. And you and guess what? You're going to be happy to do it. Yeah. That's the beauty of the kingdom. But yeah, that's how men talked, man. Did you did you secure this place? For the first time since Bifrost was destroyed, the nine realms are at peace. They're well reminded of our strength. He said the first time the 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 the, the, the Bifrost were defeated, the nine realms in were in peace. So that's what it's all about. Israel is going to actually bring peace to the to the earth. After these heathens, especially Esau, uh, served their judgment. Which is they need to we need to get payback for what they did to us because every nation on the earth these heathens has enslaved us and treated us like shit. They touched um, the the holy people, the seed of God, the seed, the chosen um, people of Israel. Yeah. So anyone, you can read. Let me let me get Genesis. The blessings of Jacob. Yeah, this is the blessings of Jacob. And it reads Genesis 27 verse 28. Therefore, God give thee of a dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. So the prophecy for Israel, Jacob, is that we're going to inherit the earth everything and it's going to flourish and we're going to be in control of that and yeah, not like how Esau the so-called white man is corrupt in the earth we've got things like animals ex being extinct what the fuck is going on man you can't even drink clean water man Every everywhere is turning to a third world country and even worse the earth w was created naturally to reproduce but because Esau, the so-called white man, is so greedy and in, impatient and doesn't use wisdom to, to multiply things the right way, everything has gone shit. The, the cycle of the earth has is, is gone to shit because it's not being looked after. And now he's not even look after, looking after in mankind because he's teaching children to change their, their genders changing their identifications promoting the homosexuality LGBT movements which which is creates disease and genocide because you can't produce offspring you can't produce more more human beings like that with that mentality done done um, role reversals teaching pumping uh, Wicked philosophies to women so that they become to try and think like men and creating men to try and think like women. Verse 29 Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. So you Christians, you gotta explain this scripture. This is this is this is racist, and it is, rightfully so. The rest of these nations are supposed to bow down to us. This is prophecy. Let people serve thee, they're gonna serve us. And nations bow down to thee. Be Lord, Lord means master, over thy brethren, Esau. Yeah, it's even starting with Esau, because Esau really, he's a twin evil brother, Jacob and Esau. But the Lord said we will be separate from them. If you read the beginning of Genesis 25 and 20 and so on. And let thy brother's son bow down, bow down 
let thy mother's son son bow down to thee see Esau and yeah Esau will, will bow down to us Cursed be everyone that curses thee. So whoever cursed us, whoever mistreats us, whoever um, tries to destroy us, tries to get rid of our identity, tries to get rid of us as a people, tries to destroy us mentally, they're going to be cursed. Bidding Esau, the so-called white man, try to do that, slavery, and these other nations, how they treat us, and they had the hand in slavery. In their own time. So the curse, they, we're going to curse them just like they cursed us. And blessed be he that blessed us. Yeah. Let me rewind. Reminded of our strength. And you have earned their respect and my gratitude. They're well reminded of our strength. That was not my intent. For the first time since Bifrost was destroyed, the Nine Realms are at peace. They're well rem Is that peace? What does the scripture say? Because we're talking about peace, right? The Nine Realms got peace, and otherwise everywhere was basically getting peace when they when they were ruling properly. We sh that's what Israel's going to do. After the other nations served their judgment, they served their slavery. They've always been slavery, but they're going to receive hard, hardcore and violent enslavement because what they did to us then we're going to look after them and the earth is going to be in peace they're going to get what they need they're going to get their lands back and blah 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 proverbs 29 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice so the people are going to be happy when israel is ruling the chosen people because we're gonna we're not gonna fuck them over like esau fucks up everyone you know esau esau he, he ex extortions, he drains people's lands and just leads them to rot. We're not going to be like that. Yeah, we're going to take the best of the land. We're going to take the best of the women. We're going to take the best of the material. But guess what? We're going we're gonna to leave you good. We're going to make sure you, you're looked after. We're going to make sure that you got something as well. You know, we're going to give you uh, a better life. Your life ain't going to be just surviving. You know, you're going you're gonna to live good. We're going to treat you good. But obviously, you're going to face your judgment too. But when the wicked bear for all, which is Esau, the people mourn. Everyone is mourning. Even his own people are mourning. You know, his own people are committing suicide. His own people are, are being poor. Because his kingdom, his kingdom is going down. His kingdom is decaying. You see? He's destroying himself. He's ruling the earth and destroying the earth. And him destroying the earth is also destroying himself and everyone else around him. So Esau, the so-called white man, he's destructive. Everything he projects, every philosophy he gives is destructive. And it's against nature and it's against, most importantly, Yahweh, Bashi Mashiach, the Heavenly Father and the Son. And you have earned their respect and my gratitude. Thank you. Nothing out of order except your confused and distracted heart. This isn't about Jane Foster, father. Human lives are fleeting, they're nothing. You'd be better served by what lies in front of you. I'm telling you this not as the old father, but as your father. You're ready. The time has come for you to take the throne. Embrace and celebrate what you've won. Join your warriors. Eat and drink. Revel in their celebration. At least pretend to enjoy yourself. So yeah, in the kingdom, we're going to be enjoying ourselves. Like this. This is the book of Isaiah 49. I'm going to start from 22. And it says, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people. So the, the Lord's going to put us on top of things, man. We're going to be the bar. You know, we're going to we're going to set the record, man. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. So our, even our lot of children are going to be treated as royal. 
they're going to be lifting our sons and, and, and daughters in chariots and, and their feet not touching the ground. Like you saw Xerxes in 300, you know, man was walking with a throne. Man had a, a portable throne. Can you imagine a portable throne? And every when he was about to, when he was about to walk, he had men bowing down, and he would step on them, before, um, individually like stairs until he until he lands on the ground. So that's what's, that's 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 how how our little children, even our little children, are gonna be like that. So imagine the the adults, the men and the women, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Yeah. Even the kings of these other nations, these heathens that, yeah, that used to be um, ruling over us, their leaders are going to be looking after our little children. They're going to be our little children. They're going to be our little children's servants and slaves. And their queens by nursing mothers, their queens of, of their nations, their leaders, they're going to be looking after our children like maids. Yeah, and they shall bow down to, and they shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. So they're gonna kiss our feet, literally, spiritually, mentally, physically, every illy that you can think of, man. And thou shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, and they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So we gotta wait upon the Lord. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have the wines, all of that. Psalms one hundred four and fifteen, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man. So pleasures of wine you can have, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthen a man's heart. Ecclesiastes nine and seven. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart. Be pleasurable, man. For for God, the Most High, now accepteth thy works. In the kingdom, the Most High, Yahweh is going to have mercy upon the elect. The Lord willing we be. Because, you know, we're laboring for this truth. In faith, for the spirit and power of Yahweh is Ecclesiastes 10, 19. A feast is made for laughter and wine maketh merry, but money answereth all things. So we're going to have the sub substances, riches and wealth, man. All great inheritances. Isaiah 62 and 8, the Lord have sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. So, in other words, when the earth is ours, they won't, the other, our enemies, these heathens, these slaves or sub subjects to be, they, they won't, they won't receive the best things that we have. Yeah. I will no more give thy corn to be meat for their enemies. And the sons of a stranger shall not drink thy wine. You know, and we're going to have the best wine. We're going to have the, the best pleasures of the earth. For thou which thou hast labored. Because, yeah. This is Second Samuel 12, verse 7. And Nathan said to David, thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And I gave thee the master's house, and my master's wives, multiple wives, into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that and if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things. So this this is um Prophet Nathan. Speaking on behalf of Yahweh Bashim Shai, because prophets they do that. Yahweh Bashim Shai speaks to prophets, and the prophets speak to the kings. And it said, the Lord gave gave him a place, a house, a family, and and wives, W I V E S, multiple wives. This is the Lord talking. Nathan talking on behalf of the Lord. Yeah, the prophets they don't lie. This is a prophet of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. So he's telling the truth. And the Lord said, I would 
and if it that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such. In other words, if if you if you because David sinned later, David sinned at this time. But what the Lord was saying is, look, if if everything I gave you wasn't enough, it was too little. You know, if you wanted more wives, I would have gave you that. If you wanted more riches, I would have gave you that, just to make you happy, because the, the Lord loved David, man. David was a man after the Lord's heart. So that's it, really. Just giving you examples of the kingdom, the beauty of it, and the pleasures that's gonna come. So with that, man, I'm gonna say shalom. Scripture says, "See, paraphrasing, see, paved with gold." transparent you know materials and stuff like that As I know in Heim and Raya, though our work would have gone more quickly with you at the fall. You must think I'm a piece of bread that needs to be buttered so heavily. Well, that was not my intent. For the first time since Bifrost was destroyed, the Nine Realms are at peace. They're well reminded of our strength, and you have earned their respect and my gratitude. Thank you. Nothing out of order except your confused and distracted heart. This isn't about Jane Foster, father. Human lives are fleeting, they're nothing. You'd be better served by what lies in front of you. I'm telling you this not as the old father, but as your father. You are ready. The time has come for you to take the throne. Embrace and celebrate what you've won. Join your warriors. Eat and drink. Revel in their celebration. At least pretend to enjoy yourself. <laughs>